Well, hi there, Clayton. Welcome back to the Author Revolution podcast. I'm excited to bring you back on the show. So people who have been listening to this thing for a while, they're going to know how like you have come into the sphere a couple of times. So they're going to know kind of a little bit who you are and why I keep bringing you back on the show. But for anybody who might be new to this podcast, do you want to explain real quick who you are and what you do? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, first of all, thanks for having me again. Excited to to be back as always. Um, And yeah, my my name is Clayton Noblet, and I am the Senior Marketing Manager for Written Word Media. Um, And Written Word Media is a book marketing company. Um, And so we have email lists of, I guess, combined over a million and a quarter readers now. So a very large audience of readers. Um, And essentially, authors can pay us um, to send out links to buy their books to our readers. It's kind of the most simple way to explain it. Uh, And we also run Facebook and Amazon ad campaigns for authors. Um, So if you're an author and you want people to buy your book, we can help with that. Absolutely. It's it's like marketing made easy for authors. (laughs) (laughs) It really is. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so for those of you who haven't heard some of the other podcast episodes, make sure you go back and listen because Written Word Media does an awful lot of things. So this particular podcast episode is going to be focusing on something called Promo Stacks, which is a a brand new baby that you guys are launching, which is really cool. And in the past, obviously, authors have had to like do all the things, trying to get their promo days in order, talk to different promo sites, uh, schedule everything, page place individually. But now, though, you've created a way that's going to be a little bit easier for authors and their PAs probably to handle all this. So do you want to explain that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, promo stacking is one of those strategies that, you know, invented by indie authors um, a long time ago, and it's kind of tried and true, right? And so it's the idea that if you do a lot of marketing in a short period of time, your book's ranking will increase on retailers and you'll see halo sales. So sales just from readers who wouldn't otherwise see your book seeing it because it's higher up in the rankings. And so with a promo stack, you'll get the sales that you you would normally get from your marketing, but then you'll get additional sales on top of that because of the increased visibility of your book. Um, and so kind of the, the trick with promo stacking is you can kind of make one plus one equal three, right? Uh, yeah. it's, it's kind of a, it's a very cool thing that Indies came up with. Um, and so, you know, we, we run a lot of promos for authors and authors stack our promos with other promo sites, um, with other promos with written word media. And so we know this is something that authors are doing and have been doing for a long time. Um, but the big drawback of running a promo stack, um, is that it can be pretty exhausting, uh, (laughs) and it's hard to coordinate all of these dates, right? Some promo sites, um, won't tell you, um, what day your promo will run until like a week after you schedule. Um, sometimes you won't know if you'll get approved for your promo. Um, and so there's a lot of juggling calendars and making sure you have everything lined up to make sure your promo stack runs in a good three to five day period um, to really make sure you get the the most out of it that you can. Um, And so earlier this year, we were experimenting with what authors go through. Um, And, uh, you know, my (laughs) boss, actually, he was he was doing it. And he was like, this is insane. Like, I'm a professional marketer. um, And this is miserable for me. Um, and you know, right. we, we all know not many authors love marketing. A lot of them do it and do very <laughs> well at it, but very few love it. Um, and so if someone, you know, like my boss, Mike, who, you know, loves marketing, uh, was having a miserable time putting together a promo stack, we knew there was something that we could do. Um, nice. and so what we've done is we've partnered with other promo sites and we've put all of our promos together into different stacks. And so you can schedule, you know, maybe five different promos um, in a single stack with one click and you'll know what days they're going to run and you don't have to do anything other than give one link to your book. I um, love that. So it, it's taken something that could be hours of work spread out over weeks into something that now will take five to 10 minutes and you'll know 100% when your stack is going to run. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's a really huge time saver for authors and it really it helps make this strategy more accessible to authors. So yeah, oh, we're, gosh, we're no really kidding. excited about it. Right? No more copy paste, like leave the last promo site up and then copy it over to the next site and then try to remember what you did with it. Yeah, there's none of that. Yep. That's so cool. <laughs> I think that yes. was the hardest part for me where it's like, oh man, I did that yesterday and I should have left it open so I could copy and paste all this stuff. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> let's do it again. Here we exactly. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. With, with our promo stacks, when you're, when you're going through to check out um, you know, you'll enter the description for your book. You'll give us the link. Um, of course, tell us the price that your book will be. And you do all of that once and it goes to all the promo sites that are included in your stack. 
Um, so yeah, but no juggling calendars, no switching between tabs. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really excited about it. So how did this idea like come about then? You, you said that your boss was um, playing around with understanding how it worked, but like, why? Like, what was the point of like giving it a try? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we're always looking for ways to make marketing better for authors. Um, and so, you know, we we do run experiments where we, you know, do different marketing tactics for books. Um, and if you're a, a premium member with Written Word Media, sometimes your books will be used in these free of charge um, as a little nice. bonus. Um, yeah, because, you know, we need to hint, test hint. with people, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so you know, we're always looking for ways to, to market books better. Um, and so he was testing out other promo sites um, and, and ours as well. Um, and we like to think our promo sites are very easy to book promos on. Um, and so that's great. But we also know authors were going to other promo sites that aren't owned by Written Word Media to book their promos as well. And so if we make our, our promos very easy to book, that's great. Um, but an author is still having to switch between brands and sites um, because that's not their whole experience, right? Yeah. Um, they're not just booking promos with us. We know that's the case. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, it, it really just made sense to, you know, if we could partner with with other promo sites to kind of bring everything together, all the promo sites benefit, the author benefits a lot because their life is much easier. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, once once we started thinking about it, um, it kind of became like a, a no brainer. And then, of course, we're really lucky to have other promo sites um, that are you know really interested in supporting authors and then also really easy to work with. Right. Um, I was just so. thinking, like, how would that work? Because in, in a sense, they're kind of like competitors. So. How did that aspect of it go? Like, were they going, oh, heck yeah, let's partner together? Or were they like, oh, should we trust you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, so yeah, that's a big part of, of partnering with another company is, is building that trust. Um, I think, you know, technically we we are all competitors, right? Um, from like an industry perspective. Um, but kind of how what I was saying earlier, that's not actually the reality of how authors use promo sites. Yeah. Uh, very few authors choose which promo site they're going to use. Most of them are running stacks. They're booking multiple promos across different promo sites in a short period of time. It's um, kind of like readers and books. It's like your your competitors only because you're doing similar things. But really, the the reader, or in this case, the author, is going to be like going to whichever ones are available and can help them get their book out. So it's like it, it, you're not really yeah. competitors; you just kind of are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean that, yeah. that is actually the, the perfect analogy, right? You know, sure. authors, you know, two fantasy authors. Uh, you know, technically they are competitors, as you know, you would define it in business school. Um, but they're right. really not because very few fantasy readers are saying, well, I've read my fantasy book for the year. I've got nothing else. You know, I'm done. Uh, right? right. I'm tapped out. I'm good. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, and, and so these two fantasy authors can work together and they can, you know, do newsletter swaps and, and help promote each other's work and kind right. of a, you know, rising tide lifts all boats. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's kind of what we're seeing with promo stacks, right? Like authors are very excited about it. Uh, we're seeing it like a really excite, exciting kind of movement um, when we release the product. I think um, it's super cool too when when we're all able to collaborate together, whether it be chromo sites or whether it be authors, like getting that getting to that point where we're no longer kind of like these individual units. We're all kind of like in this thing together and we are helping each other. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's that's absolutely what we're going for at, at Red Word Media, right? You know, authors, authors come to us, you know, they they pay us money. Hopefully they earn more money by by running promos with us. And then we're able to to take the money they invest in their and their work, and invest in creating a bigger audience and more promos for authors. Um and so it's it's this flywheel effect that helps us, helps them, and then you right. know, at, at the end of the day, everybody benefits. Um, right. And so, yeah. it probably brings so some of the sites and, and aspects into like their purview that they didn't have before. Like, especially if you're a new author and you're not like real familiar with promo stacking, they're probably like, who are these people? So speaking of that, okay, so what are the other promo sites that you guys have partnered with? Who are they? Yeah. Yeah, so we we have three partners. Um, and so they are the the fussy librarian, uh, which is a really well known. Nice well-known yep. promo site. Um, and then we recently partnered with Hello Books, um, which is Mark Dawson's Mark Dawson. website, okay. if you're familiar with him. Um, and then we also partner with eReader IQ. Nice. Um, so yeah, we, we have three promo site partners that are not owned by Written Word Media. Um, and then of course we have our five promo sites. Um, that, right. That are <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, it totals up to quite a, a large audience. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very, very exciting. That's super cool. 
Okay. So what genres then, if authors are coming in, they're like, heck yes, I'm going to do this promo stack because it's going to make my life so much easier. What are the genres that can actually do the promo stack through you guys? Yes. So, you know, we are rolling out more genres constantly. Uh, right now we have, let's see, romance, mystery, thriller, science fiction, fantasy, horror. We just launched a, a nonfiction promo stack. Nice. Um, I think we we also just launched some literary fiction promo stacks. Um, and we're adding more every day as we get more genres available. We also need to improve the filtering to make it easier for authors to find their genre. Um, but that will be coming very soon. And so it was pretty easy, though. It wasn't it, it was, when I was okay. looking at it, it was actually really easy to take a look at. And then you filter it down to like how long you want it to work. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, the goal is for it to be easy. We have very high standards for things being easy. Um, so that that's the goal there. We um, need it to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, so, so everybody wants things to be easy. So yeah, that's the goal. So yeah, we, we have a lot of different genres available. And, and what I would say is if any author doesn't see their genre, please ask for it. Uh, wow. Because we will build a promo stack if there is demand. Um, nice. So just because you, you don't see your genre... Um, definitely reach out and ask. Uh, you, you might be surprised at how quickly we can put something together specifically for you. That's um, cool. So yeah, it, it's yeah. early days and we're, you know, we're looking to serve authors in, in you know, the best way that we can. Um, right? So yeah, always reach out and make a suggestion. Worst case, we say, hey, it's going to take a little bit. Best case, we say, hey, done and done. We're ready to go. So, right. Yeah. Okay. So Clayton, I got to ask you, do audiobook versions of the promo stacks? We don't have audiobook yet. There's one um, to add. Yes, there we go. Hey, it's on the list. I'll, I'll type it up right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, great point. That would be awesome. Yeah. And we need yeah. we need more sites from an author perspective for their for audiobooks. Like Chirp is great, but it's like, come on, we need more of those. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And more for direct sales. FYI. Direct sales yeah, promo yeah. sites would be great too. <laughs> I know you guys are working with that though. You have a lot of great, great options there. Yes. Okay. So when it comes to price restrictions though, do you have to have your book at a super discount or like, how does that work in order to do a promo stack? Yes. So we are pretty restricted on the price. So in order to run a promo stack right now, your book either must be free or 99 cents. Um, and now it does not have to be specifically discounted. So if you have a, a perma-free first in series, or if you have a first in series, that is always 99 cents. Um, you can leave it at that. You don't need to specifically discount for your promo stack, but okay. it has to be free or 99 cents. Um, and I know that that's frustrating. That's a very low price, right? Um, and that's just kind of where we are. Um, Hello Books, for example, um, only ever did free promos. Fuzzy mm -hmm. Librarian is also very focused on free promos. And so yeah. this is, you know, and so are we at Redward Media. We, we're, we are focused on discounted free promos. And so in order to make a stack, you know, across sites that works well and performs um, in a way that we're comfortable selling. Um, those were the prices that, that we had to land on. Um, so right now, free or 99 cents might change in the future. Um, but right now, that, that's where we're at for our the book price when running a promo stack. That makes sense. Uh, out of the, the genres that you guys run, are there any that you've gone, holy cow, these ones work really well, like get a ton of clicks and like this is definitely the leader when it comes to like the promo stacks just going gangbusters? Yeah, I mean, it it, it varies um, because the list sizes are different for different genres. Um, sure. For example, the, the romance stack reaches more <laughs> <Right>? readers um, <laughs> than the literary fiction stack. What right? are you talking about? That's just so <laughs> I know, weird. Shocking, right? yeah. <laughs> and so the <laughs> and so the romance the romance stack is more expensive. Um, but yeah. that, that one is probably the one we've gotten the most feedback of being like, wow, you know, this took me 15 minutes to schedule and, you know, I'm seeing a massive increase in my rankings. Um, so I, I think that one stands out in terms of, you know, cause there's so much competition in romance that when yeah. you, when you give something to romance authors that really works in marketing, like you, you hear about it. Um, and so oh, that, yeah. that's exciting. Well, and I'm in fantasy. And for me, it's like, I always go to you guys always when I'm doing a promo stack of any kind, because I will always earn my money back that same day. Like I've yeah. never not done it. And so it doesn't matter if it's a free promo or if it's a 99 cent promo, it, it earns itself back. So I'm like, I, I never have any worries whatsoever. <laughs> like, I, However <laughs> well, way I go, I just, whatever, let's, let's wing it. And we know how, who I have to go to. So it's great. I love it. <laughs> okay. So um, question for you then when it comes to series, because that, I think that's why it works so well for me. Does the promo stack offer a way to promote the whole series, like your series promos do, or like, do you only advertise book one and that's it? Like, how does that work? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great question. Um, so it for for context, our series promos are, are very popular. Um, and that's where when you run a promo with us, we'll we'll send readers to your series page on Amazon instead of just your book page. Um, your series page is really popular um, because readers can buy the entire series with one click. Um, and that is uh, just a really good thing for authors. Um, so use your series page whenever possible. Um, our yes. series promo, yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's, it's a great thing. Um, we don't have series promos included in promo stacks right now. Um, okay. And I think that's a, a logistical thing between partners and, and our different sites. Um, sure. But I think, you know, that that could be coming in the future. That's a, a very exciting thing. But we yeah. are seeing with the promo stacks that, it, you know, it's just such a powerful, a powerful promo uh, that people are seeing really impressive results um, with a promo stack compared to even a series promo. Um, right. So, yeah, so no, no series promos in the promo stacks right now. Um, but another, another good idea, Carissa. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm always full of good ideas. <laughs> I, I blame that on my strategic um, strength from Becca said yeah. she was going through that whole thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's strategic. There. <laughs> there you go. Oh, funny. <laughs> okay. So what price ranges then do we have for the promo stacks? Um, I know that the genres, like you said, are different based off of, you know, how big the lists are and, and everything like that. But like, if they were coming in there, what's the difference? Yeah. So it's a pretty wide range um, because, you know, we have single day, three day, five day promo stacks. Um, so yeah, a lot of options. I believe the cheapest right now is $80 and nice. the most expensive is $395. Um, That's great. So yeah. Still yeah, cheaper so than BookBub. <laughs> 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 I mean, I love BookBub. Don't get me wrong, but come on, yeah. guys. <laughs> And you'll know you'll get it when you schedule it. No, no right. applying, you know you're getting it. Um, so yeah, that's that, awesome. That's another benefit. Yeah, that yeah. is definitely a benefit. Yeah, that's so <laughs> that's so great. Okay, yeah. so you you mentioned the the one, three, and five days, which is really cool. So the promo stacks can either happen all on the same day, spread across three, or spread across five. Have you found any of them to be more effective than others for authors? Yeah. So, you know, I think in general, um, with, with our promo stacks, because they're so well filled out, the longer it is kind of the, the better the results we're seeing. Right. Um, and so I, I don't think that's necessarily true always. I think it depends on how much you put into your promo stack, but the way ours are designed, you know, the five day is longer. And so there's more promos built into it. Um, Makes and sense. So that is typically more effective. Um, another benefit of a longer promo stack I find is that there's more room for authors to kind of add in their own stuff on the side, right? You know, maybe you sure. have your own email list. On a five-day promo stack, you have more time to send to your list, maybe do a newsletter swap with another author or something like that to kind of yep. add on top of the promo stack that you're running with us. Um, so the longer promo stack gives you a little more time to yeah, run your own ads, post on social media, do all the extra stuff that you want to do on the side as well. Right. It kind of builds more buzz throughout the that time frame too, I've found. It's kind of like doing a launch in a sense where it's like you have this bigger time frame and you can get a lot more people engaged and excited about it than, than just one day and all of a sudden it's done and you're like, what just happened? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah well. absolutely true. It, it's a good signal for retailers for their algorithms to say, hey, this book is getting sustained attention for this five-day period. Right. Uh, or, period right like that's a better signal for them to keep it higher in the rankings um, absolutely so yeah and then it stays higher like more organically for those sites for a bit of time as well so it's not just that one that one day where people are going oh yay and then nothing else happens <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need more things so are there any other restrictions on like for example how frequently they can use a promo stack can they do it like every month could they do it like every two weeks like what what is the the restriction there yeah, so the restriction is every 30 days. Um, okay. So you can't run the same promo stack within 30 days of, of one. Um, and that just gives us time to add more readers to our lists. Um, so you'll continue to get good results. Sure. Um, so yeah. so you, you can run one every 30 days or, or longer. Um, you know, we haven't had promo stacks out in the public yet to really know kind of how authors are using them. Um, you know, we, we think they, they would work well um, every every 30, 60 days, something like that. Um, we assume there'll be a lot like our normal promos where we see authors book um, pretty frequently. Um, some authors will book, you know, every 35 days, some every 60. It kind of depends on what the author finds works for them. Sure. Um, 
So I, I anticipate that's how promo stacks will be, but I'm re I'm really not sure if authors will you know book them more frequently or less frequently. Um, what about if they have a, a different promo that they've run? So like, for instance, this month, um, I ran a, a free book seat and yeah. it was like the first of the month. What if I like if the, I have a new release coming up and I'm going to use the same series to like get all excited about this particular thing. This may mm -hmm. be my thing. It actually might happen right now. So like <laughs> I have a book coming out on the 21st, but I already did a free book seat, normal free book seat, not a promo stack. Can I mm -hmm. still do a promo stack or because I already did a free book seat, it won't work. You can't do a promo stack that involves free booksy for that same. Rude. Yeah. <laughs> well, because then you know readers will be getting the same book. But I could know, do a bargain booksy. You could do a bargain booksy. Ooh, absolutely, different okay. Different audiences. Yeah, so it can't just nice. be it can't be the same brand within thirty days. Um, oh, good to know. Book, yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I like yeah. that. Hmm. <laughs> I might have to take a look and see. It's short notice because yeah. it's next week. <laughs> It happens, could happen. It yeah, could we'll happen. It could. Yeah. yeah. I might have to take a look at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, is there anything else authors should know about when it comes to the promo stacks? Because I mean, this is so new. Like you said, it's just coming out and rolling out and authors are obviously getting into it. But like anything else that we didn't touch on that authors should know about? Yeah, good good question. I mean, you know, I, I think if you're, you know, if maybe if you haven't run a promo stack before, um, we did write a, a great blog post that kind of explains promo stacking and um, kind of the different ways authors can think about it. Um, yeah. So if you just go to writtenwordmedia.com and click learn at the top of the homepage, um, you'll see the blog post there. Um, so that, that can be a great thing if you want a little more information about promo stacking in general. Um, and then, you know, like I was saying earlier, um, if you have suggestions like, like, like you do, um, <laughs> or, you know, you have I'm thoughts. always full of suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that that's literally how promo stacks came, came to be. Right. So Love it. I, I would really encourage any author that has any questions, um, anything at all, please contact us, ask us for help, ask us to do something for you. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's how we, we make things like this happen. Um, so yeah, I, I would say that that's kind of the number one thing. Cool. And then yeah, if you want to book your promo stack, um, you can go to writtenwordmedia.com slash promo dash stacks. Um, and you can see all the promo stacks there. Um, you can also just go to our homepage and hit promote now and you'll see a, an option for promo stacks. Um, so lots of ways to get Super there. Easy. But, yeah. yeah. Wordmedia.com is, is the place to go. That is so awesome. Well, I love that you guys are so innovative and you're kind like I said, every time I pull you on here, originally it all started from your surveys because you guys have the incredible surveys that you guys do and the different um, articles that you do every year, especially when it comes to trends or um, you know, things that are happening in the author industry. And so that's kind of where you, like, even though I was using free booksy and bargain booksy, it was just kind of part of my routine. It didn't really like connect, um, how well you guys are innovating and, and everything until I started looking at those. It was probably what, 2018, 2019, somewhere in there when you started yeah. those surveys. And I was just like, mm -hmm. this company is really cool. <laughs> this company is really cool. And obviously you do such a great job with those articles too. So keep them up. I love reading them every time they come out. So they're fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We, we have a lot of fun doing them. So yeah, there'll be another survey this year for sure. I can't wait. I will be involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clayton, thanks so much for coming on the show and talking about this. This is one of the most exciting things that I've seen uh, for a while, other than the other stuff that you've been doing. Like literally you guys are constantly coming out with something cool and new and unique every, every time. And if, the, if you can start getting even better with the, like the direct sale stuff, oh, you're going to like master this thing so much. I'm going to, I won't go anywhere else. I'll just be I'll just be going to you. Excellent. It's fine. <laughs> no, well, yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me. Always, always super fun to talk to you. And uh, yeah, this is, this is great. Thank you.